B-Rad here and here's my video for the Milton video game swap. Okay. Keep eyes on my stuff. That's true. If you're spending all that money, yeah. Well, that's that's pretty good though. Yeah. You have one of those with that low of the serial number? Oh, okay. So you do actually have a whole pile of software.
All right, I'm back from the Milton Video Game Swap. Uh, it was another great event. Um, I always have a good time going to these things. Uh, thanks to Steve and Jason for hosting another one. Um, it's the last one of the year. Um, I, I don't think uh, there's any more just strictly video game swaps going on as far as I know. A anyway, I'm looking forward to the next one sometime uh, early next year. And, um, you know, I hope it'll be a good event as well. Anyway, um, there was a lot of people there. Uh, there was a lot of uh, vendors. There was a lot of people coming through the event. And uh, just uh, the tables were full. And uh, there was some really cool stuff there. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys what I ended up picking up. There was so much stuff there. It was really hard to choose and uh, not spend a huge amount of money. But I, I made out uh, pretty well and I didn't spend a lot. But I got some cool stuff. So uh, let me show you what it is. Okay, uh, first I got uh, RoboCop 2 from NES for NES and uh, it looks cool. I've never actually played this game. Uh, I got a manual with it. I got this from Ryan, so thanks a lot, Ryan. He also gave me a deal on that, which is cool. I always appreciate that. Um, let's see what I got next. All right, I got uh, Mega Man X4. Oh, I left the sticker on it. That's all right. I made a deal. I, didn't get, I got maybe a little less than that. Uh, Mega Man X4. Uh, I have Mega Man X5 and X6 for a PS1. Um, I, uh, I've only ever actually played the first one though, Mega Man X for uh, the SNES, and uh, I like that one a lot, but I've been trying to get these whenever I find them, and this one wasn't expensive, so uh, I'm looking forward to playing it. Okay, next I got uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. I heard this one's pretty cool. I heard it might be kind of like hard, like a Dark Souls game. I don't know if it's that hard or whatever. I'm not sure. Anyway, if you guys played it, let me know in the comments. I like Star Wars a lot, and I've been recently playing Dark Souls, so uh, I want to check this out. I'd be kind of disappointed if it isn't, isn't kind of like that. Okay, uh, next game I got is uh, Psychonauts in the Rhombus of Ruin. And uh, this is a, a PS4, uh, PSVR game, and um, I, I've never played any of the Psychonauts games. I've heard they're supposed to be pretty good, but uh, I got this a good deal on this, and I'm always looking forward to getting uh, more VR games that I haven't played that are supposed to be good. Okay, uh, next one I got is Evil Dead, Fist Full of Boomstick. Um, I, uh, I haven't played this before, but I've been watching the Evil Dead movies and then the Ash vs. the Evil Dead TV series. And I've always liked the Evil Dead uh, stuff when I was uh, younger. But uh, And I heard about these games too, but I never played them. So hopefully it's good. It has Bruce Campbell you know, doing his voice in the game, so that should be pretty cool. And uh, hope, hopefully it's really cool. I actually saw another uh, Evil Dead game when I was there as well, Hail of the King. But uh, I was kind of running over my budget a little already. So I got this one. Okay, uh, next I got uh, Dead Rising for Xbox 360, and I've never played this. Oh, I played the one for Wii, but I heard it's not as good because there's just not nearly as many zombies, and uh, there might be other reasons why too as well. I'm not, I can't remember, but uh, this is the original one. It's supposed to be really good. I've never uh, played this version before, and uh, like I only rented the Wii one and played it for like a day anyway. Um, let's see what it's like. Hopefully, it's really cool. Um, I always like Resident Evil, and this is kind of like another zombie game made by Capcom. Uh, I don't know how similar it would be to like Resident Evil. If anything, it seems like it's supposed to be more comical or just zany stuff, uh, like sillier stuff uh, than uh, Resident Evil. Resident Evil can be pretty cheesy, but it, I mean, it seems more serious than this does. Okay, the very last pickup I got is Super Baseball 2020 uh, for Sega Genesis. And uh, I used to have this as a kid. I used to think it was a great game. This is complete in the box. I used to play it quite a bit. Um, you can uh, give your players like cybernetic enhancement so they can just really crush the ball. Um, uh, they can also like uh, jump like 20 feet in the air to catch a fly ball or even slide equally as far across the, uh, across the grass to, to like catch a ball. Uh, really cool stuff. Um, I'm looking forward to trying this again because I remember playing it a lot before as a kid. Anyway, uh, please let me know what you guys think. Uh, you know, I'm really happy to pick up. So if I saw you there at the game swap, um, just uh, say hey on the channel. Uh, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.